Hello and welcome to the Dad Strength Podcast. I am your host, Richie Leahy. Uh, today, it's going to be a little bit of an in between episode. I am going to uh, announce that we are moving the podcast to Wednesdays. Up to this point, I have been releasing the Dad Strength Podcast on Monday, along with the Socially Numb Podcast. And just to give a little bit more uh, space between the content and give it a little bit more room to breathe. I'm going to be breaking up the two podcasts that I run. And with that, I would like to announce that we have been syndicated. So this is sort of a little bonus episode to announce that. We now have the show up on iTunes, Google Play, I believe I have not checked there, uh, on Stitcher Radio, and on TuneIn. And I believe... I think I said iTunes. So uh, what I've been doing is I've also been placing the episodes on SoundCloud. I've been slowly uploading them uh, to catch up. So the new schedule will be that the podcast will be recorded and it will be uploaded on Wednesday. And that's when it will enter the initial RSS feed. So if you want to follow closely, Go ahead and follow on one of the stations that I mentioned, and I'll get a, f- a full list, uh, and I'll start plugging it on the show as we go. I also am going to be uploading it on SoundCloud, uh, where I've started. So once I get caught up there, SoundCloud will probably take another day or two. So it might launch on iTunes Wednesday night or so, is what I think the schedule is going to be. And it might not get up on SoundCloud until later Wednesday, or maybe Thursday. So I don't know, depending on how I do the recording and stuff, if it's going to be able to launch on SoundCloud right after. The other place I'm putting it is up on YouTube. I have the first one up, and it's all going to be under the Socially Numb umbrella. I'm starting to roll that out, and I'm starting to get... I also run a Socially Numb podcast where I talk about technology and sports and gaming. I kind of break that out a little bit outside of the Dad Strength podcast. So if you're interested in those things, I recommend checking it out. That podcast, I'm going to be working on getting that syndicated as well on all the networks I mentioned before. And I'm starting to try to get caught up posting content and having like a main feed page where you can read about the episodes, what they were about. And I'm going to have it sort of like an archive where I don't think I'm going to cut any off. So it's going to be a pretty long page eventually but I want it so that you can search for it. And I've added a search function to the site so that you can search through Google and hopefully find the details for older podcast episodes. And I'm hosting on Amazon right now, so there shouldn't be a limit on how many episodes I put up. I don't know 100%, and I might have to move down the road since this is the first podcast I've ever done. But what I'm hoping is that we can keep expanding and bringing the show out and keep it at one topic I think that works well for about 15 minutes. I'm going to keep the the show format the same. It's just going to move to space out content a little bit more on sociallynumb.com as it's going to be a feature there as one of the headlining um, categories for the site. So it's going to be spaced out. It's going to launch on Wednesdays on the major shows. Up until this point, it's been on Monday. So look for that change this week. So I'm going to have a little bonus episode here and talk about Halloween. We took our daughter trick-or-treating last year. uh, She dressed up as Lady Thor. And I got her one of the foam hammers at Toys R Us. And um, we had her wear a Thor onesie, which was pretty cute. And um, we also made a foam headband that had, I think it was foam. It might have been felt. I can't remember. We went back and forth on the materials. But we made our own costume costume, and the Thor onesie, I think we ordered from somewhere, maybe Amazon. Uh, and those aren't plugs, by, by the way. I'm just trying to think of where we got the costume. But we put our costume together. We went out and we went to the uh, Clemson, North Carolina State football game. They had a trick or treat tailgate, which was a lot of fun. So they put anyone who was tailgating around the stadium, they put their trunks out. And I think they had a little flag, if I'm remembering correctly. And so we took her around. She was only a uh, month or so old at the time that they had it. I can't remember the date. And she had a lot of fun. 
but this year she was actually able to walk around and we dressed her up as a ninja turtle uh, because I watch some of the old cartoons with her. We do a Saturday morning cartoon spiel where we watch old cartoons or some of the new ones. Uh, we usually watch over the air. There's a kid's channel in North Carolina called Rudel that plays like Curious George and a bunch, a bunch of other shows that we normally have on uh, whenever we're watching stuff as a family or while we play. But we normally don't watch a lot of t- TV with her. Uh, but Saturday morning, growing up, that's something that I did with my family, so I wanted to keep that tradition going. So I have been watching Saturday morning cartoons. We watched some of the older cartoons that I liked as a kid, uh, kind of going full circle there. But she likes the turtles. She has a couple stuffed turtles, and she plays with them a good bit. So we got her whatever the cheap costume was. It had a shell, and she likes wearing the shell around. It's like a Velcro foam shell, almost like a pillow that she puts on her back. So she brings it to us when she wants to wear it. And she did it today. She didn't, she didn't even have the turtle. We had a onesie that had the shell graphic, like the Ninja Turtle ones. And then I got a turtle shirt too. We all did. And then we went downtown and we walked around in our neighborhood. They had uh, the storefronts did a trick or treat. So it was a good friendly time. And uh, no tips there, just telling a story. So uh, we like to try to do different things with her to try to get her out in public so she becomes more social. And we've been teaching her sign language a little bit. So it was good to see that she's starting to pick up on that. When someone would give her candy, she she can't really talk. She'll try to say the words, but it just sounds like a bunch of sounds right now. Uh, so, But she will do the, the hand motion for thank you. So that's pretty cool. She also does please and uh, some other ones eat. Like if she's hungry, she can show us the sign. So I recommend doing that. And it's something I might get into a little bit uh, later in more depth to kind of tell you how we started doing it, when we started doing it. But she is picking up on it. And a lot of other parents seem to know the signs too. So it might be something that's pretty common these days. I know I didn't know sign language growing up, but we thought it would be a good way for her to start to tell us some of the things that she wanted instead of just making sounds, and it seems to be working. So we took her trick-or-treating, and it was great to see her start to do some of the things that we've been doing with her. Um, so that's it for the for this special episode, just talking a little bit about uh, Halloween as... It, this will launch on Halloween, and you'll also get a bonus show this week, so look for that on Wednesday, and then around every Wednesday. I'm going to try to keep it on a schedule. I wasn't planning on doing a week-by-week week episode, but it seems to work, and it keeps me fresh and motivated to do it, so I'm going to go with that. I'm trying to launch a show every Wednesday. Also, check out my Socially Numb podcast about technology, sports, gaming, music I throw in sometimes, uh, some stats, things like that. And that is going to be the soul show that launches on Mondays. So right now I've been doing both on Mondays, but getting the shows posted and getting the show notes up and things like that, it's a little rushed. And so I want to spend more time and not leave dad strength to an afterthought since it's a shorter format show. So to do that, to focus fully on the show, it will now be moved to Wednesdays. So check that out. Happy Halloween. And you've listened to Dad's Strength with Richie Leahy.